hi in this video we are going to look at how we can run all the docker commands as the non root users and by the way you can follow along with me as you watch this video and do the hands on simultaneously the link for the lab is given in the description here as we would do the hands on lab let me now trigger the lab setup which takes few seconds to come up by default when we install docker the docker runs as the root user and as the admin or the root user we can perform all the commands but eventually we would need to give the docker access to the non root users we cannot make every user as the admin on our system so in this lab we would see that only that how we can have non root users to run the docker commands i assume that you have the knowledge about users group and the sudo access on linux if not let me just quickly review so in linux we have two kind of users one is a root user and then we have the non root users root user is going to have by default all the privileges to perform all the operations in the system while the non root users or the non admin users have only access to the specific set of commands as our lab is now triggered we can now run few commands to identify the ids of a given user so for example currently with this lab i log in by default as a root user and if i run the id command i am going to see that i am logged in as a root user my uid is zero and my group id is also zero here then with the su command i can switch to a different user like in this case i am switching to the ubuntu user here so we are now logged in as a ubuntu user and if i run the id command we can see that for the ubuntu user the uid and the gid is set to 1000 here in linux when we create a user that user by default gets a primary group like in this case ubuntu user has got the primary group as ubuntu and then a user can be attached to multiple secondary groups like in this case ubuntu user is attached to different other groups like adm cd rom and so on then in linux we also have the concept of sudo access by which i can give certain additional permissions to the normal users to run privileged commands like in this case our ubuntu user is a sudo user and if i run the command by just typing the apt update command like this this command fails but now if we add sudo in the beginning what's going to happen is this users permissions get elevated and ubuntu user can run these privileged commands in the interest of time you can explore the sudo access separately by exploring different documentations uh, on the internet available you can also click on the link here let us now come back to the original problem and see how we can run docker commands as the non root users i'm just going to exit from here to become the root user again so now first of all i'm going to install the docker here so this would install the docker for me once the docker is installed we can see that we have a group with the name of docker but there are no users attached to it so now what we would be doing is we would be creating a normal user and then we would be adding that user to the docker group and by doing that our user dev in this case would have the permission to run all the docker commands because it has become part of this docker group so now i'll be adding this dev user here so our user has been created now we would be adding this user to the docker group with the help of user mod command so this command adds the dev user to the docker group let me do that and once we have done that if i now log in as a dev user with the help of su command you can see that i can run 
all the Docker commands. Like here, I am creating a container. So as you can see, I am now able to create the containers with the user called dev. So this is how we can create users and give them access to the Docker commands. So hope this makes sense. So we can also run like other commands like docker container ls minus a and so on and we can see that it is now coming up while we are here let us also look at how we can run our programs inside the containers as the non root users because that is considered as a best practice so for example if i create a container and run the id command inside it we can see that the UID and the GID is set to zero and this is with respect to the given container only. So one way to fix the UID and the GID inside the container by running the docker command with the minus U option and provide the UID and the GID which you want to use. Like in this case we are saying use the UID and the GID as 1001 and if we look at that is being set rightly inside the container. But what can happen is we have set up the right UID and the GID when we run the container. But inside the container whatever application we have that may not be configured correctly to run as a non root user. So the better approach is to set up this UID and the GID as we create our image with the docker file. So like in this case, we have a Docker file in which we are first creating the user test user with the UID of 1001 and then using the user instruction test user so that the following commands would run as a test user only. So let us now create a Docker file and let's put the content of whatever is shown on the screen. And now let us create a image from it. So I'm building an image and once the image is being built, we would see that there is a image with the name of cloudiga slash test with the version of learn here. So our image has been built now. And as we can see, we have now got an image with the name of cloudiga slash test. Now, when we run a container from it, and now if we check the ID inside the container, we can see that it is set to the test user or 1001. Similarly, if I list all the programs inside the container, we would see that they are running as the user test user. And this confirms that we are running our programs as the non root user inside the container. We can also inspect the container and check out the user inside the config values there. And we can see it is set to test user for the container of test C here. So in this hands on lab, we have seen how we can run all the Docker commands as the non root users. And we have also covered how we can run our programs inside the container as a non-root user. Hope this was useful and worth of your time. Thank you.